Hey children, we are going to today learn now uh, how to represent each fraction to a decimal. That means we are trying to convert fraction to a decimal. Okay, this is what we are going to learn today. So you need to know that fraction to a decimal, and we can only do this when the base when the we can only do this when the denominator is ten. 100 or 1000 okay i think in the last week you have already learned how to convert with the denominator 10 today we are going to learn about how to convert fraction with the denominator 100 to a decimal okay so this is 300 what does it mean by 300 that means this one whole is divided into 100 parts 100 equal parts and only three are shaded so 300 so this is the total okay so 300 so if i draw the place value so remember it's ones and then don't forget the decimal point followed by the tenth and then followed by the last one today we're going to learn the last one we're going to learn is 100 okay so we don't forget with the th with the th okay because less than one so three three hundred will be under the place value here three so what about the rest there's nothing right for once there's nothing and for 10 there's nothing so there you go the fraction is 0 0.03 easy you just need to draw out the place value table that will become very easy for you okay ten hundred so that means this is divided into 100 parts 100 equal parts and 10 of it is shaded so 10 shaded 10 parts are shaded out of 100 equal parts so same thing we're going to draw the place value table once remember your decimal point followed by 10 and the last one is 100. Wow. So I'm just going to put it in now. So 10, 100. So it's under 100 place value should be here. So can I write like this? No, you're learning in your lower memory that you cannot write uh, two digits in a single value, place value column. So you need to write it like this. You need to regroup. So zero and one. Okay, then followed by your decimal point. And of course there's no zero, there's no one, so you put a zero. So answer is zero point one zero. Okay? So I hope so you need to learn, you just need to draw the place value table and you're ready to go.